Why Satan Fought Hard for the Body of Moses After His Death It is well established that Moses was beloved by the nation of Israel, especially at the end of his leadership and life. But like great leaders before and after him, it came a time when God had to call his beloved prophet home. The impact of his departure was so profound that it took an entire month for his people to mourn. For many, death symbolizes finality. It symbolizes the end of one's earthly contributions and sacrifices. It signifies the beginning of another journey. But with every journey initiated by death comes something else, something that symbolizes the dearness of the departed. With death comes burial. So it ought to be for Moses, but it was not. But why not for Moses? What was different about the death of Moses? The answer is in Deuteronomy 34, verse 6. It says, So Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab, in accordance with the word of the Lord. And he buried him in the valley, in the land of Moab. Moses is the only person in the Bible whom God personally buried. But no one knows where his burial place is to this day. The Bible says the Lord then hid the tomb. But why? Why would God Almighty hid the body of Moses? Because Satan was interested in Moses' body. He was interested because, as he does with everything else, he wanted to use it to move the people of God into idolatry. If the location of the body and grave of Moses was known to the Israelites, they would have turned it into a shrine. Today, people would still be finding their way to that grave. They would have erected monuments at the site and turned it into a commercial shrine. It would have been a site of sinful adulation. It would have all been about the powers of Moses and not about God. That is the true definition of idol worshiping. This is the reason the Lord hid the tomb. The concealment of the tomb was so important that it sparked an angelic battle in the higher realm. In Jude chapter 9, we learn how the archangel Michael challenged the devil for the body of Moses. But why were Michael and Satan disputing over the body of Moses? No specific reason is given in the Bible, but several theories have been suggested. But the most likely one is the one we already mentioned before. People have a propensity to worship the created things rather than our Creator. Romans 1 verse 25 says people exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator. This is the true meaning of idolatry, taking the absolute for the relative and the relative for the absolute. To avoid the temptation of people worshipping the body of Moses, God had to hid his body and grave from us. It is for this reason some have said that Moses never truly died. He walked up to heaven. We do not know that for sure. All we know and will ever know is that his body was never found after he climbed that mountain. As we just learnt, one of the means that God used to secure the body of Moses was Archangel Michael. But an important point of note is that even when the Archangel Michael contended with the devil and disputed about the body of Moses, he did not condemn him, but simply said, The Lord rebuke you. This is crucial. Even Michael an Archangel, the one whom God used to cast Satan down from heaven, did not presume to speak reproachfully to the one who rolls in the realm of demons. He left all such rebuking and condemnation to God. Michael the Archangel is shown in the Bible, in the book of Daniel, Jude, and Revelation, as a fighter angel who contends against principalities and powers in spiritual combat. The word archangel means angel of the highest rank. Most angels in the Bible are described as messengers, whereas Michael is represented in all three books as contending, resisting, or standing against evil spirits and principalities. It is this warrior that refuses to take matters in his own hands and rebuke Satan over the body of Moses. Instead, he said, the Lord rebuke you. The rebuke is the Lord's, even for the chief of angels. This brings to mind the human judgment of cursing and rebuking everyone that wrong us. Why is it so hard to let vengeance be the Lord's? <laughs> 
To recap, why was Satan fighting for the body of Moses? Because Satan wanted the body of Moses to be available to the people to tempt them into worshiping his bones rather than God. And why did God send the archangel Michael to protect the body of Moses and the secret of his grave? To prevent his children from the idolatry worship of the created rather the creator. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something about the Bible today. Please subscribe and click on the notification icon for more updates. Keep watching our episodes where we discuss critical issues in the Bible.